Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Um, today we're looking at videos of all the all the cash I've wasted on car key programming machines and whether or not they were useful or not and whether or not they even still work or did work. So here's one here that I bought. Now this one here has a USB on the side and a little USB. Also has a little red and a um, green light there. Turning it over, nothing too special. Little switch on the side here, read and write button, somewhere to put a glass chip, somewhere to put a carbon chip, somewhere to put a key. So the idea behind this was that you could actually copy um, 46 chips and uh, 48 chips and 4D chips. And I'll just put it back into English. Copy uh, 46, copy 4D, copy 48. Uh, tag 46, tag 4D, tag 48. And it comes with this little snooping type setup here, as you can see. Shall I move it down because it's a bit out of the way? That's basically what it is. A little tiny battery on the side. Uh, look, I have used this a few times. I'll just take you through the menus if I can. I've got to fix up that camera because uh, you're not going to be able to read that at all. There we go, that looks much better. Okay, so there we go there. Okay, so you've got your um, English or Chinese up the top, straightforward, read button, and all your other modes there. So read. Makes a little tick, ding ding. And read error, of course, because we've got nothing in there. It's got a read button up top and write button there as well. And with the little sniffer. So if we wanted to copy a 46, for example, um, we would put a 46. It would have been nice if I had one ready. Um, do I have a 46? No, I don't have a 46 ready. So you put it in there, you read. It'll go through. Okay, read fail. Then it'll move. Um, you'd need to get this one. Go over to the car, do the sniff. Put that in there. And... See so if we can read that. Read file. This one has a little power button on there too. It's just a circuit board in heat shrink. See if, it, if it's even got any power on there too. It's got a little micro USB at the back. Sorry, a little micro USB at the back to charge it. So it probably hasn't had a charge in a while. All right, so. Um, as far as I've used this machine, well, I used it for some 46s, and yes, it did work. Um, I didn't use it for 4Ds, and I didn't use it for 48, coming soon, so 48 never worked. And I didn't use it for any of the tag ones, because I do have other sort of cloning machines. I'm just showing you all the configurations. Basically, it cost about four or five hundred bucks, and um, yeah, I only used it for 46 function. I mean, now I just use the CN900 or the Handy Baby or the um, VVDI key tool or the Silka RW4. So, this particular tool here, yeah, it was a waste of uh, maybe five hundred dollars, I'd say. Plus, you had to get the special chips for this one, which was a little bit annoying. But that's what it is. I don't think there's too many um, other sort of videos on it online. Uh, would I buy another one for that price? No. I mean, would it be good for, you know, a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks now? I guess it would be if you wanted to do the 4D or the um, 46 chips, or if you could use some of these other functions in here, which I never, never really got down to using. That makes sense to you. Tag 4D. Page 1, page 2, page 3, key. Okay. So I never really got into actually use them. No instructions, of course, everything coming from China, no instructions, no nothing. But um, that's the 468 Key Pro 4. Thanks for watching.